tonight, a surfer's close encounter with a monster shark off Trigg. Perth freeway chaos as a man runs riot. Former St Kilda star Stephen Milne faces the woman accusing him of rape. Homeless and desperate, the race to provide aid to the Philippines. And Mitchell Johnson gets his chance for test redemption. This is Nine News Perth with Tim McMillan. Good evening. There's been another shark scare, this time just 50 metres off one of Perth's beaches. A surfer says a great white knocked him from his board at South Trigg Beach late this afternoon. The teen says he felt a thump beneath his board before the predator's head appeared above the water right next to him. Sean Daly says he's seen sharks before, but nothing like this. A four metre great white. Matt Tinney, Nine News. We're going to show you confronting vision taken from a car's dash cam on the Quinana Freeway. It shows a man terrorising motorists, a rampage that lasted for 10 minutes. Leaping from bonnet to bonnet, watch as the 34-year-old man charges into traffic. One by one, he targets drivers in the southbound lanes of the Quinana Freeway. To Typhoon Haiyan, and a state of national calamity has been declared. Four days after the monster storm smashed into the Philippines, hundreds of thousands of survivors are in desperate need of food, water and shelter. Mark Burrows has the latest. Great Eastern Highway could stay closed for another three days after a fatal truck crash caused a massive chemical spill. Residents say they've been trying to get the speed limit reduced for years. Hundreds of WA workers will lose their jobs just before Christmas. Estelle Lewis is live at West Track. Estelle, just how many jobs will go? Tim, around 630 jobs will go across the country. The bulk here in WA, around 500 people will, lo will lose their jobs at West Track, a company that deals in heavy machinery and is owned by the Seven Group. Business analysts say it's a reaction to the slowdown of the mining industry. Coates Hire, which is also owned by the Seven Group, has announced it'll slash jobs too, around 60 positions in WA. So hundreds of workers in for a nervous wait. They won't find out if they've kept their jobs until mid-December. Tim. Estelle, thank you. There's still no guarantee rates will go down after the number of local councils is cut from 30 to 15. The Barnett government has scrapped plans to merge Fremantle with Melville, but Coburn Council's outraged it could be wiped off the map. Sally's at Hillary's tonight. Sal, not as hot as expected today. No, Tim, it didn't quite hit the 30 degrees as expected, but we got to a top of 28 degrees instead, and it's only getting hotter. I'll have the forecast a little later in weather. Thanks, Sal. See you then. Still to come. Perth's fastest-selling suburbs and the best spots to buy. Australia's 44th Parliament's in session. And Shane and Liz together, but where's that ring? And Tim, that's our look at sport for this Tuesday. Thank you very much, Mark. Time for the weather now with Sal tonight at Hillary's. Tim, our run of hot days will continue. Your forecast is next. Let's check the CMC Markets Finance Report now. The Australian share market has regained some lost ground. The All Ordinary is up by six points. Our dollar is now buying 93 US cents. Fuel will hit a new five-month low tomorrow. The average price in Perth, $1.38.6. Now Sally joins us from Hillary's. Thank you, Tim. Good evening to you live here from Hillary's Boat Harbour. Certainly a, a brisk evening here, sitting on about 21.5 degrees, but we got to a top of 28. That's not quite the forecast top of 30, but we've got temperatures rising over the next few days. So high pressure across our west, dry easterly winds maintaining those clearer skies. Onshore winds across the south coast driving in a little bit of drizzle, and a trough line in our north is providing a few thunderstorms in the Kimberley, the usual suspects. You'll also see a trough across the west coast that'll start to gain momentum and track inland a little bit. So we've got a lot of heat building over the next few days across the southwest with temperatures expected to near the 40s. Meanwhile, over east, we've had plenty of rain in New South Wales and also Victoria too, and they're welcome rains for areas like Sydney and surrounds, but flood watches remain in place just to the north. It is going to be a fairly cool day in Melbourne, 16 degrees the top and a morning shower for Adelaide. Now, we are going to see storms again return for the Kimberley, the interior and the Pilbara as well. But remaining dry in Broome, a top of 36, Kununurra 35 degrees. 
to our south uh, west now we could see a few thunderstorms across the east and southwest land division and a little bit of drizzle across parts of the west and south coast a top of 28 degrees for Geraldton. We'll see some fairly fresh strong winds out there tomorrow again so we do have a strong wind warning in place across the coastal waters and the seas could get up to about three meters or so. Tomorrow it's going to be dry and it's going to be warming up so we've got a top of 31 degrees and then really starting to build once we get towards the weekend. 33 degrees the top come Thursday, 37 degrees on Friday, so a really piping hot day. We'll start to see a trough develop over the weekend. That's going to bring some humidity in. So while we're going to stay very hot on Saturday, a cool change is forecast to move in on Sunday, but humidity levels will still be high, so don't expect it to be too fresh. Monday, warming up again slightly to a top of 30 degrees, and then it looks like we start to get a bit more milder weather come Tuesday, Wednesday. So Tim, some cooler weather will be forecast next week. All right, thank you, Sally, and that is Nine News for this Tuesday. Bye for now.